So we know that rational functional tester is based on the Eclipse framework. And one of the things we know about Eclipse is it has this plug-in architecture, this plug-in capability. So we can add additional vendor-based products. Anything that supports the Eclipse, env Eclipse environment, we can add in as an additional component. So we can extend and expand the architecture that we're dealing with. So let's take a look at the rational functional tester architecture. So at the core, of course, is going to be what we would call the workbench product. So in the Workbench product, we've got some core component pieces. One of those is simply going to be a variety of different kinds of editors. So depending on what kind of source code you're dealing with, whether we're talking about XML or we're talking about uh, script code or Java code, we have a, a variety of different editors already built into the RFT world that are, are going to give me the support to manipulate that kind of code. In addition to that, we have a, a debugger defined inside of here as well. So when we come to the test point, we're going to test our various scripts. We can walk through the code one line at a time by using the debugger. In addition to that, we can set breakpoints. Uh, we can look at variable values. Uh, we can manipulate their contents as we're going through the testing of the script itself. In addition to that, we have some basic features that all Eclipse uh, environments have. One of them is the concept of a perspective. A perspective essentially controls the, the user presentation, the views, the panels that we're going to be seeing. And the perspectives are usually geared around the different kinds of roles that we might be playing, whether we're an analyst or whether we're a developer or whether we're a tester. Each of those have different kinds of perspectives that will change the presentation and what the, uh, kinds of panels are going to be available on the screen. We also have different kinds of projects. So when we're building our applications, there are different kinds of projects we could be dealing with. If we're st strictly doing test functionality, then probably just working in the functional test perspective. But there are other perspectives out there as well. And then there's basic configuration. I can change and update and modify the, the uh, configurable options of the tool set itself. Now, some other pieces that we could plug in here would be a web server and potentially an application server. So for dealing with e-commerce based applications, maybe I might want to be able to attach these particular pieces. We also are usually interested in some type of version management and version control. So we've been talking about SCM modules, uh, software configuration management pieces, and each of the different vendors out there that have a source management uh, component, a source repository, provide different kinds of plugins. So whether you're talking about PVCS or ClearCase or SourceSave or other kinds of uh, source code components like this, most of them will have a plugin that will allow you to tie directly into your RFT architecture. So we can incorporate their functionality directly into the tool. So we don't need to go outside of the tool to be able to do source code management. One of the other things we talked about a tool that was important was the ability to integrate with other kinds of lifecycle projects. Since RFT is based off of Eclipse, we have the ability to tie into other kinds of tools, UML modeling tools, uh, requirement specification types of products, uh, Java uh, development tools. Uh, all of these have different types of plugins that let us communicate and exchange information back and forth. So working in the Rational Functional Tester built off of the Eclipse framework, we have a variety of different kinds of plugins that, that allow us to uh, manage our code and also to incorporate other lifecycle projects and products.